Our Prime Minister had a press conference today and a lot of people were expecting to hear news about the uh, travel and the borders and what's happening with that. And we heard about it. They best basically said, we'll, uh, we'll tell you next week. <laughs> but I, I did have some insights because they had the Premier's meeting yesterday of a conference call talking about opening the borders and what to do. And I just, some of the things that they're talking about, I found it kind of ironic. So, yesterday the Premiers had a meeting. They were talking about the border restrictions and a lot of them were interviewed afterwards and that. This was all a virtual meeting. It was conference calls. Uh, and uh, a lot of them were saying, uh, you know, we need to have a plan to reopen the borders. Uh, we are losing a lot of money uh, from tourism at the borders and uh, a lot of things like that. And then I, I looked at some of the premiers who were saying these things, and I found it, here's the ironic thing. The ironic thing is, some of those premiers who were preaching that the federal government needs to have an opening plan, and we need to get the U.S.-Canada border open, and international travel started and everything, um, they still have travel restrictions from province to province. Like, I can't drive to Nova Scotia. My, where I was born, my hometown, because I'm in Ontario and they won't allow us to travel. Uh, there are provinces out west, you can't travel from one province to the other. Yet they were complaining that we haven't opened up international travel to the border yet. Uh, you see the ironic, <laughs> isn't that a little ironic? I just, I find it, in fact, here in Ontario, our provincial premier is still running ads uh, at the hockey game and things like that saying, uh, you know, the, the, the federal government needs to be stronger on the borders and they're letting in the variants. And, well, you might as well stop those ads because the variant's already here. It's already in Toronto and Peel. We have, it's rising exponentially in those areas and soon will spread right across Canada in some way. Now, we have a huge good doses of first vaccinations, which is about 75% of our population now has been first dosed. We're still down, way, way down for second dose. However, in Ontario, we're doing pretty good. We're getting close to 20% has had the second dose and more and more every day and more and more vaccines. I mean, we did 200,000 people in Ontario alone the other day and there's only, like, what is it, 9 million people in Ontario. So, you know, in the matter of a week, if you did those numbers, that's a million point two. Every week, that means within four weeks, you should be very close to having everybody's second dose vaccine. But there's no there's no hesitancy here, especially in Ontario. There is no hesitancy. Uh, they did a pop-up clinic in Toronto, and they were lined up around the block and down the street in the pouring rain overnight, waiting for that pop-up clinic to open because people were having a hard time getting through on the internet to book an actual dose. So people were camping out overnight at pop-out clinics to get their doses. There's no hesitancy here. We don't have that, uh, you know, uh, be afraid, be afraid thing going on here. People here have decided, let's get the vaccine. Let's, uh, let's you know, they keep on saying we're gonna open as the numbers percentage of people vaccinated so let's just get our vaccine so we can open and that's kind of our mentality here so uh yeah i guess we have to wait till next week to see what's happening with the canada u.s border and international travel but uh i still that it's really really ironic that some of the premiers who are calling for the borders to be open and international travel to go still haven't opened their own borders within Canada to other Canadians. You might want to do that first.
before calling out the federal government. I can't believe I just offended the federal government.